Yeah, I'm, and I mean, I, I hear sentiments from some of um, our clients and some of my friends, like many of them um, Indian nationals. So they almost like got a little bit too excited about the, I believe it's called the um, Fairness for High Skilled Immigrants Act, right? But then still didn't make it. And so I told them, you know, so you go back, right? To like, like they really take matters into your own hands, right? So, I mean, that's that's the only option you have. And I think that's the wisest option. That Absolutely. You can and I'll tell you what the issue is. So what happens is, so like that, the, um, the high skilled, type of legislation that was being attempted, that's really like, an. Uh, so there's this group, it's called FAIR. Um, and what they advocate for, are they like maybe uh, advertise themselves as advocating for is that we only want high skilled immigrants to come into the US, you know, they're the most successful. And a lot of people buy into this rhetoric. But the real agenda that they have is to limit immigration to a very, you know, uh, large extent. So anytime that you see like FAIR coming out with stuff, they are basically trying to say, OK, let's limit the number of immigrants who come to the country only to, you know, so-called high skilled immigrants. The, the vast majority of people who are now in the U.S. from India on an H-1B, you're probably going to be left out of that that conversation. So I wouldn't put too much, you know, uh, stock into that. Uh, rather, I would say that we need to think about alliances like across the board. Um, you know, whether it's, you know, folks who are interested in doing something for, you know, the Latino community or, you know, the uh, other communities and finding like a compromise, uh, you know, legislation that attracts everyone. So um, because basically what happens is people who advocate for high skill or employment based, they want to limit family based. And, you know, the Democrats aren't wanting to limit the family based immigration. So it's just, you know, it's kind of a stalemate. Yeah. So you, you, yeah, it's a push and a pull. So I don't think it'll get anywhere. Right. So I think it, it happened. It then becomes like every man for himself. And that's yeah, why I mean, I, to... it will resolve, I think, legislatively, but it has to get really, really bad before it does. And yeah. right now, I think, you know, corporations are kind of benefiting from the status quo. So they're probably, you know, the ones who are controlling a lot of what is going on uh, in Washington. Yeah. And they will, you know, not necessarily allow for these kinds of changes which is, you know, a very unfair and, you know, racist agenda that they have that's hurting, you know, the the people out there. But that's why we have to take matters into our own hands and come up with creative solutions that solve people's problems. And and that's what we've been able to do, uh, because, you know, if we had a magic wand, we'd change the law, yeah. change the rules, mm -hmm. but we don't. So what we could do is help our clients succeed. And that's what we've done.